Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Psycho Gaming here again, and I'm very sorry that I haven't had a video in a long time. I've been caught up with schoolwork and a bunch of projects, including putting my new computer together. As you can see, this is Windows 7. I'm really excited. Everything worked out on the first try, so it's really awesome. But um, I went ahead and downloaded a few things. I've got Minecraft and everything. Love that game. Um, but here's just my Photoshop and Camtasia. Um, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you something in Camtasia. And as you can also see from the title, this is going to be a tutorial on fading in and fading out. Um, as many of you viewers have the software or application or whatever it's called, uh, Camtasia Studio, you notice that it doesn't have a fade in or a fade out effect, which is sort of disappointing, but it's okay because I figured out a way how to make it work without that effect. So first you're gonna go in this upper left white box and click right and right click and go to import media. And here um this here's my wings pack. Uh, that's gonna be later as you can see from my channel once I reach like two hundred subscribers I think. But anyway. You're gonna need this black fader. And all this is is 1280 by 720, which is the YouTube and HD uh, dimensions. Black image, that's all. Nothing else. It's just pure black. And I call it black fader because it's used for the fade-in effect. Now, what you're also going to need is your clip. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Steve Art 2, which is featured in my second speed art. So drag the fader down. Um, change the dimensions to 1280 by 720. Keep the aspect ratio. Drag your clip down, and then drag the black fader on this on the other side too. Now, change the clip to whatever dimension or whatever time you want. I'm just using five for five seconds for tutorial six. Okay, so now what you want to do is right-click on the black fader on the left. You go to image duration and type in point one. Oops, point one. That'll make it as sh as low as it can go. Now I'll do the same thing to the other side. Point one. Now what you want to go to is transitions right here, and then take the fade and put them in right here. Don't do fade through black because this is already black, and it'll look crummy because fade through black makes this clip before fade out and then fade in. So wh what you're actually getting is just a lot of black for uh, for a while, which you don't want in the in the um, fade in effect because you could just make the black fader image longer, which is sort of useless. So now go back to Clip Banner Library, so you can see the timeline, and right click the fade. Go to Transition Duration, and go to one second. One second is typically what you want to use. Um, you can go l longer or shorter if you need to, or if you want to for a certain project, but the normal one's about one second. Um, one thing I want to mention before I go on is that in between clips, you, if you want to fade in and fade out effect, in between, like in the middle of your project, just use fade through black instead of the black faders. It's a lot easier, but you obviously can see you can't do that with without having something there. So now... Oops, this seemed to turn back. So now we're just going to try and see if this works. So you can see it fades in, shows the image itself for about five seconds, and then fades out. It's a really cool effect. I love it. Um, I'm sorry this is a sort of long tutorial for such a small thing, but, you know, what can you do? So I, re I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, using in all your videos, you don't have to give credit or anything, I don't care. It's sort of a small thing anyway. But, um, it's really nice and makes a nice effect. And you don't have to install any or download anything else. So, I hope all of you Camt Camtasia Studio users like this, uh, subscribe, comment, and rate. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks. Peace.